Hello and welcome everyone to what is our new free trading sessions for beginners. We decided to make this series because after the presentation that we made in November and December, which by the way are available on our YouTube channel, we saw that there was a lot of interest from people that were never been involved in trading but they want to learn. So that's why we decided to make and give you this basic knowledge totally for free. Now let me tell you a little bit uh, more about uh, uh, who we are. We are, as you see, DM Trading Bulgaria and uh, we are a branch of the already successful firm from France, DM Trading France. We are a professional team from traders and also our services like newsletter, coaching and paid lessons are already generating consistent profit for our clients for more than a year. That's why we decided to make this video to give to our new clients the basic knowledge totally for free on which they can step and continue with their trading development and career. Now let me tell you a little bit more about me. My name is Valentin Fetvojev and I'm a professional trader since uh, four years now. I gained experience in two different uh, sectors. Like most people, I started at the beginning with uh, Forex. Uh, then I uh, switched to fixed income where I gained most of my experience. And due to the fact that uh, the fixed income is uh, less liquid sector, I uh, switched and uh, now I'm uh, the head of the commodity trading in DM Trading Bulgaria. I was interested in trading since my early ages and uh, that's why I focused my whole education around it. First, my bachelor from uh, University of Portsmouth is uh, International Finance and Trade and then immediately after this I went, I went to London where I made my master. It is uh, Investment and Risk Management from Kingston University, London. Now let's see the main plan for this course. When you finish it, you will have the basic knowledge to start trading and manage your positions properly. The course is split into four sections. The first section is uh, terminology and basics. The second section is technical analysis. The third one is economy. And the fourth one, and in my opinion, the most important one is the management habits. While I'm explaining you all of this, I'll try to be quick and simple because we value your time and we want to give you the maximum possible knowledge into the shortest period of time. If you have any further questions after finishing this course, you can always subscribe to our paid lessons because the information there is a lot more and very detailed. Or of course, if you have any specific questions, you can always contact us directly. Now let's talk more about the plan. Into the first section, terminology and basics, we're going to speak more about uh, the markets, how they operate. And uh, also after this, we're going to uh, speak in more details about the charts, how to read them. And then in the end, of course, we are going to discuss how to open and manage a position. Into the second section, technical analysis, we are going to speak more about uh, trends, market trends and uh, different market formation, support and resistance and last but not least, we are going to discuss some of the major indicators. Into the third section, economy, we are going to speak more about the news, how to read them, how they are influencing the market and respectively, how they are interfering with our positions. And for dessert, in section 4, management and habits, we're going to speak more about uh, trade and risk management and what are the most important habits into life of one trader. And now, let's continue with the first actual lesson. So, let's see, financial markets. First thing first, what are the markets? Nowadays, the markets are almost everywhere. Anywhere you can trade securities such as equities, bonds, currencies, commodities and other derivatives is basically representing the marketplace. Some markets are smaller and the activity there is very low compared to other markets such as let's say New York Stock Exchange where they are traded trillions of dollars on a daily basis. The markets are operating on an exchange basis. The participants are trading between each other shares, units and contracts and they are trying to benefit from the price change. The markets are representing the price change of the given security and what movement and reactions the price is making over time. Later into this series, we're going to speak more about price formations, which is going to clear questions and the other questions actually that you might have on this topic. Now let's speak more about how the price is formed. The price of the different securities is formed in a different way. So first, let's take the most popular one, the Forex. The price of a certain currency pair is formed from the value of both currencies. Also, the exchange rate has its impact and the price is moving when one currency is changing the value against the other. The index price is formed in a different way and it's mostly dependable from the securities included in it. It is very much the same principle as how the price is formed for the shares. 
The share price, for example, is mainly dependent from the market cap of the given company standing behind the shares and also what is the number of shares issued on the first place. As you may know, bigger issue means more shares, more supply and lower price. And of course, vice versa. If you have smaller issue, you have less shares and then higher price. The commodity price is formed almost from the finished product that is standing behind the security and of course the demand and supply for it. Another factor is the way of extraction and how expensive it is, but this is a whole other topic so I'm not going to get into more details in it now. Next is coming the trading broker. The broker is an individual or a firm that charges a fee or commission for executing your orders. It doesn't sound very nice, is it? But its role is to make the connection between the markets and to execute the orders for your trades. So, why do we need them? Basically, the broker is the connection we all need to do anything on the financial markets in any form of trading and like it or not, we have to pay their fee in order to receive the opportunity to benefit from our trading. As you can see from this illustration over here, this is how the markets are operating, so there is nothing we can do. This is the way how the trading works. What follows is how the trading on the markets operate. The position opening is customized by every platform, but in the most cases you have buy and sell button. This is how the magic happens and this is how you actually open a position. Of course, first you have to adjust the size of your positions, which has to be strictly dependable from the risk management strategy that you're implementing. For that, we're going to speak more about later into these videos, actually into the last video. So now I'm not going to get into more details about this topic. Also, you have a choice from pending orders and market orders. With the pending order, you're putting your entry point on a certain level and you have to wait for the price to reach it in order for you to get, to get into a position. And with the market order, you're actually entering from the current price on which the security is at this very moment. Then you have to choose if you want to buy or you want to sell the given security. If you want to buy, your expectations are that the price is going to go up and you're going to benefit from that movement on the long side and vice versa. If you want to sell, your expectations are that the price is going to go down and you're going to benefit from this movement on the short side. Let me show you this on an actual graph so you can see it and understand it properly. So here, let me show you. If you want to buy, usually it's on a levels like this, you want to get into a position and benefit from the movement of the price on the long side. So you want to take and to catch this wave here. And of course, if you want to say, it's vice versa. Usually it's on a levels like this and you want to benefit from the movement that actually the price is making while it's dropping. And now, last but not least, let's speak more about how to set up your account. First, you have to choose a broker that you fancy and then, of course, you have to check if this broker is working with a platform that is comfortable for you and matches your needs. Some of you may know, but uh, we are partners with uh, Admiral Markets. Uh, let me show you their website. The reason why we fancy them is uh, because uh, they have a, a branch in Australia, which is uh, giving us the opportunity to open accounts which are not under the ESMA regulations and we can use a proper leverage. Here, I just want to show you how easy it is to open an account. Just click here. You have to fulfill your data here. It's uh, very easy. Of course, there is a chat. So you want to, if you want to need some uh, help or some assistance from them, they will always respond. Then you can choose the variety of uh, platforms that uh, they have. And of course, after this, you have to decide if you want to open demo or a real account. And if it's real, just deposit your money and start trading. And now I just quickly want to answer the question how much you should invest. Here, the golden rule is never to invest more than you actually can afford to lose. This was the first lesson from our free series. I hope you like it and I hope it was useful for you. If you want to see more of our free content that we are providing every week, you can click this subscribe button just down below. And of course, you can click the little bell because in this way you're going to be notified immediately when we post a new video. Thank you very much for your attention, good luck with your trades and there will be more lessons coming. Bye bye!